Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We are your hosts, Stephanie and Ricky. The great one. No, 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 no. Anyway, I hope you guys get your appetite, because today we're going to be talking about the Netflix movie, Animal Crackers. No, no. Never heard of it. Never had one. You had had one. They were nasty. They didn't well, taste like anything. I hope you guys are not trying to eat this one, but it stars Danny DeVito, Emily Blunt. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on those notifications. And drop a comment in the comments below. Alright, let's get started. You want to go first or I'll go first? I mean, it doesn't matter. It's a kid's movie, so mm -hmm. there's animation. It's not stop animation. This is all animated. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was entertaining. A few uh, subtle adult jokes in there. Yes, there were. They had. I feel like I feel like for a kid movie, you, you have to have you have to have your movie. little adult jokes that goes over your kids. But, head um, okay. It had one that my kids looked at me like, hmm. I'm like, was it yeah. was it when you said that he had uh, the cook the which call him in more places than one or something? Yeah, like that? and then she said. Uh, <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> so that right there, if you have old enough kids, like he gave, he looked in his pants for crying out loud mm -hmm. and, and said that. So that one, that wasn't subtle. That definitely wasn't subtle. Yeah, it was subtle, but not subtle enough. Yeah, I mean, he looked in his pants and said it, so kids but can only imagine. Overall, I thought the whole concept of the movie, them being a circus and using these animal crackers to basically transform into an animal. Mm-hmm. To basically have a live up show for the whole dynamic to the circus. I mean, damn, can we get the circus to be like that? Then people won't have to worry about these animal rights and all that because there's not real animals being used. We can exactly. actually have a real circus going back again and the circus could be fun again. I thought the exciting. concept was dope. I mean, when they had him do the trick from. Oh, it, was, it was fun. Huh? Those tricks was fun. Yeah, like when they had him, had him doing the trick from the. Uh, he was a horse at the top of like a. I'm gonna and call he, it a springboard. Yeah, like turned, a springboard. Yeah, and he turned to the fish. And then he the... jumped off the springboard. He he was pushed, and then before he got That's to he the uh, the ground, he ate a fish cracker and he turned into a fish and landed in the fish bowl, which was dope. Like I whole I thought the whole concept was dope. Um, him changing the animals, doing different things, playing guitar, and, mm -hmm. and like it was even a cute little moment where he actually got his daughter involved. Like she mm -hmm. was the. Uh, like a tiger tamer, essentially. Mm -hmm. She was riding him, and then they jumped through a, a hoop of fire and stuff like that. So I thought that was dope. But with all kids' movies, there's always a big bad villain who is either someone you know or someone that you knew was hiding in the background. Now, before we get into the villain completely, I want to ask this. Did you or did you not think he looked a little like Samuel Jackson in Django Unchained? Now that you, you say that, me. Hey. now that you say that, yes, yes, just a light. I mean, a, a light, a I'm gonna let you guys emotion. take a pick at it. Which do you think it? Look on your left and look on your right. What do you guys think? Did it look like it? <laughs> it yes, did. no. It I mean, did. let us know in the comments below. I mean, to me, it looks exactly like it. Yeah. But for a villain, I mean, he does the normal villainy type of stuff. Stupid and smart at the same time. So, my whole thing with the villain... But right? it was a dumb villainy moment. Yeah, I think it was just dumb because I feel like it was, it was just all, led to all jealousy. I, I mean... Like most villains, it always starts off looking like it's something else, but then it boils down to them just being jealous. I have something else to say. Now, correct me if I'm wrong for saying this. I don't think that uh, Owen... Is what was his name? A uh, Bob? Yeah. I don't think he. I don't think Buffalo Bob was his name. I, I don't think yeah. that was his nephew. Can't tell me that was his nephew. Because right, they look almost alike. Not only that, bro. They don't mention Owen's parents at all. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Cause I'm like, <laughs> if that's if that's his nephew, then who's his father, bro? His hair was blue. He had the same kind of beard, same kind of. Facial, it like when they showed him uh, Buffalo Bob getting married, mm -hmm. and then they showed 
of Owen when he was a kid. I thought they were going to say, oh, this is his son. No, they just said this is his, his nephew. I hope, how? Did, did the animator get a little bit tired? And he was like, listen, I'm not going to create another yeah, person. Like, I'm just, just reusing it. characters at this point. I'm going to just reuse this character. That, that was the biggest plot hole for the movie was that who's really related to Owen. And there it goes with those kids' movies, man. Broken households again. I mean, seriously. What's up with these... What's, I just want to know. What's up with these broken households in kids' movies? Just about every kid movie you can watch, there's a broken household of, of some sorts. It's got to start off from a bad origin. And the thing is, Owen didn't... It didn't start off... It, it started off with, like, you know... It, it started off, with like, really loving and caring and stuff like that. You had um, the Haruto, you know, being the hater, of course. But, like, you know... Buffalo Bob gets in love, falls in love, had and then stuff like that, and then Owen falls. So like it had his loving moment, but then like as an adult, kids probably don't realize. But as you you watching the movie with your kids or whatever case, you're like, mm-hmm. where's Owen's parents all of this? Yeah. And then I was thinking about it I'm for, like, so for Zoe. You only see her father. Where's the mother? Yeah. Like no mention of the mother at all. <laughs> what is going on with these broken households? I mean, jeez. I think they're trying to follow the superhero complex of every. If you notice, all the superheroes from DC and Marvel generally all start off with their parents being killed or dead. No parents, gra- living with grandparents and all. Either a tragic accident, death, died early, or were murdered. I mean, just look at Spider Man, look at Batman. Yeah. And it's it's Tony really Stark. crazy because it's almost Nine in everything. Man. Like I was like, wait, wait. For a second, they're like, well, what about Static Shock? No, Static Shock mm-hmm. was just with his dad. His yeah. mom had died. It was like, yo, why does every cartoon or every kid show has to be a broken household? I mean, it just creates a greater dynamic, I guess, to go from a one family household and be able to do great or make a success story out of it. I guess um, that's my opinion, but. I mean, we could be wrong. We could be wrong. Maybe they're just not reading that far into it. And they just were going with it. We need a new norm, though. We definitely need a new norm. We need something where it's a... The only... Honestly, the only movie that I can remember seeing that had... And again, I know this is getting off a triple over about the movie. But the only movie that I can remember seeing that had a full household was Inside Out. It had both mom and dad. Yeah. That's and about it. That's, that's the only, the only movie I can remember that had a parent, uh, both parents. But, I mean... I mean, it, doesn't, it doesn't take away from the goodness of the movie, though. Not at all, because this movie was still good. Very good. Very great movie to watch with your kids. I mean, if you're bored this weekend, you have something, need something to do, the kids is uh, annoying you to death, or it's too hot to be outside, or too rainy to be outside, I yeah. put this movie on. Let I watch it. Have a movie night, you know? Pop some popcorn, mm-hmm. get some pizzas, whatever the case may be, and just enjoy it with the family, because this is a very, very, very great family movie. And, again, let us know what you guys thought about the movie in the comments below. Also, definitely let us know whether or not you think uh, Toronto was looking just like Samuel Jackson from Django Unchained or not. Also, let us know if you think that Buffalo Bob is really Owen's father. (laughs) Yes. Let us know these things in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and pass it on. Let other people find this channel as well and find it entertaining if you do as well. And thank you guys for watching. Have a good night.